Man, well, well, uh, we did a, it was great having a full off season um, to, to be able to really understand our scheme, our alignment, you know, really build our culture uh, and our identity early. Um, and we had a great training camp, you know, going back out to, going back out to Oxnard, uh, did great justice, just building some team camaraderie, um, really getting in, really getting back into, uh, you know, the camp lifestyle and, and developing, you know, our unit. Um, you know, physically, I feel great. Um, you know, looking, look, looking like myself, um, doing some amazing things, uh, sideline to sideline, um, focused on a lot of uh, mobility this off season, and really just amping my game. Each and every year, I try to get better. So, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, COVID did a lot last year as far as just limitations on, um, you know, not really being able to get together how we would like to. Um, you know, it's all about confidence and competence. Um, the more you know and understand your scheme, um, understand where your guys um, are supposed to be, um, and then having that account, that, account, that accountability factor, um, you know, set in place this year, uh, it, it, it really just kind of sets us up for success. I think the biggest thing is just full confidence in every movement um, that I make. Um, being able to make sure I'm aligned correctly, um, understand what my guys are supposed to do, uh, really leading in the right direction on, on making sure everyone knows what they're doing. Um, that accountability matters. Uh, doing your job, doing it to the best of your ability, um, and me being in the middle, it, it's, it's important to know um, that my guys got my back um, and then and vice versa. Is there a different energy in that linebacker room this year at all? You know, George is more involved. You mm -hmm. got some younger guys in there who figure prominently, be it the defense or special teams. The makeup, is it something you can sense energy-wise? Yeah, you know, our linebacker room is unique because we got so, so many players that can ball, um, you know, from rookies to veterans um, to second, third-year players. You know, everybody in our linebacker room can compete at a high level. Uh, so knowing that it just builds confidence in the entire room. Uh, so it's definitely, definitely a beautiful thing. Amazing, amazing, and we're you know we're talking about it after after that series and that rack, um, you know just making sure the communication is right, making sure everybody know what they're doing, um, and we're jetting, we're flying. Uh, the the beautiful thing about our system um, is the depth, and that everyone that gets in there is going to get an opportunity to ball. Um, so that's that's that builds extreme confidence, um, and that's really what we're searching for. We're we're trying to win. He's just doing what he's always showed. Uh, and, you know, me being a big brother, you can do nothing but uh, praise him and count on him to continue to do great things. Um, you know, his biggest thing is just transitioning to a pro and doing things the right way, body language, and um, just the little stuff. And that's things that I can help out with being a big brother. Um, but he's dominant. Um, and, and he's going to contribute a lot this year. What do you think Micah's best moment has been since he got here? It could be on the field, it could be off, but just something that maybe flashed to you, kind of showed who he is already and what he can be. I mean, his, he's very um, he's very outgoing, and the beautiful thing about this team and this locker room is everyone can be themselves, uh, and that's what matters. That's what helps uh, bring culture, bring identity. Um, and, and, and for Micah, he's, he's a sponge too. He's a guy that has extreme humility. Um, you know, when he messes up, he acknowledges it. And, um, you know, he's able to be a one-timer and not make the same mistake twice. Uh, and that's what we preach in our linebacker room. Um, and, you know, everyone's doing a great job. We just gotta, we gotta keep going. Maybe an obvious question, but I'm just curious to hear 
response. How versatile is he? He can run, he can pass, he can cover. Um, he can do whatever you need him to do. And, and it's a great thing to have him on, on our squad. Yeah, see, we, we got him, you know, making sure he taking the steps, you know, can't can't ride the elevator, you know what I'm saying? All little stuff like that, getting us getting us snacks. Uh, you just going through that rookie stuff. We're going to have that rookie dinner. We're going to have that COVID free rookie dinner here uh, prior on our bye week. And he going to have to write a check. So he, he, he going to come with it. <laughs> I remember we were like eight and one. It was crazy. It was it was crazy. We was we were like eight and one going into the bye week, and I just remember it was it was a lot. It was a lot of shit going on. <laughs> Good time, no COVID. A lot of drinks, a lot of a uh, lot of food, a lot of, lot of lot of wagyu for sure. I had to. I, I was second round, so I had to come out. I had to come out a nice little check. What restaurant y'all go to? Uh. I think it was Nick and Sam's. I think it was Nick and Sam's, yeah. I think it was Nick and Sam's, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You need it. Birthday cake, all of that. Cowboys cake, all of that, yeah. A little ace of spade. <laughs> I'm going to have Micah sign one. Sign one, I'm going to take it home. You played such a huge percentage of snaps last year. How prepared are you for that number to be smaller? And, and are you concerned about it not being a number where you want Man, for me, it's just about being the best version of myself. Um, and whatever's, whatever's asked of me, you know, I'm gonna give it my all. Um, you know, I've contributed each and every year that I've been here, um, you know, re regardless of anything. So that's one thing that I'll do. That's one thing I'll continue to do, um, is contribute at a high level. Um, I pride myself on being a, a value to the team. Um, and, and, whatever, and whatever way they need me, I'm gonna be there. Um, leadership role, um, accountability role, um, and then elite play. That's that's something that I'm looking forward to. Do you think it can actually help you to have more snaps and maybe be a little bit more particular situational kind of stuff? I think I think it's more less snap, more so of a full camaraderie on our defense. Um, you know, that was the biggest difference. You know, back in 2018 when we were successful and flying around. I mean, everyone knew what they were supposed to do, and they did it at a high level. And then from there, you can let your athletic ability shine. Um, and that's something that we've, um, you know, Dan Quinn, and head coach Mike McCarthy has preached on is just system expertise. The more you can truly understand what you're supposed to do, um, you can be yourself. And, and that's really kind of what uh, my main focus has been, just being my worst uh, crit you know, criti critic or critique. Do you expect to be in any phases on special teams, or are they just saying, you know, you're an established veteran in this league, focus yeah. on defense? How are they approaching that at all with you with the, you know, less defensive work? Vet life, you know, it's a vet life. <laughs> <laughs> it's vet life. It's all love. Fair it's enough. all love. Yeah, vet life. You know. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. <laughs>